day six starting in a train station and it's quite appropriate that I'm running late for my train as usual. I'm right on time. I've got the train at uh, 8.20 and I think it's at like 8.17 now. So I just got here on time, had to run. And I'm taking a train from uh, Milano to Tirano, Tirano to Quar, which is like one of the most beautiful trains in the world. It's called the Bernina Express. And then from there to Basel. It's gonna be a lot of trains today. Starting with this one. Today is mostly a train day, but it's a day that I've been really looking forward to. I'm going to be riding on the Bernina Express, which is a train that goes from kind of the northern tip of Italy right into the center of the heart of some of the most beautiful part of uh, the Swiss Alps in Switzerland. Uh, I'm just stopping here in Tirano right now, but turns out that Tirano is actually a really beautiful place to visit on its own. It looks like a great place for mountain biking. There's vineyards up along the hills and beautiful, beautiful mountains coming off at this area. So we've already entered into the, the pre-Alps, I guess, on this side of things. I know the pre-Alps a little bit better on the other side of the Alps. But here on the south side of the Alps, I don't know them so well, so it's kind of cool. It's interesting because you go from Italy, you go from uh, Venice and Milano and these places, I don't know, partially maybe the rain brought in some cool weather as well. There was rain this morning, but I went from just really utter heat and surrounded by, you know, like really south type of people, you know? The dark skin, the deep dark eyes, the, the brown hair, really Italians, you know? And then you come here and, and it's still Italy, but you kind of feel like you're in Switzerland a little bit. And it's got that on the border kind of feel. Uh, it's really nice. It's really cool. Here I am walking around in Toronto. It's a little bit nostalgic actually. It reminds me of my first day in Tokyo. Because I'm walking around with my full body armor, my full pack on. And uh, it's not every day that you take a stroll through a mountain village uh, with 30 kilos strapped to your body. I guess unless you're in the military. <laughs> and uh, it's nice. It reminds me of the time when I first put on the bag and I thought, man, this is unbelievably heavy. How could any, anybody ever possibly go anywhere? Like for more than... Even I, at that time I was thinking, I can't walk to the station. And my home was about five minutes from the station and I was just shocked about it. But now I'm taking strolls in Italy and just roaming around. I'm actually on an unused fountain up here. It's kind of funny, I found this fountain. And uh, so the bit that is where the water usually goes down is now kind of stairs. So I just use these as stairs. And climb up the hill, get my nice little view of Tirano. It's a pretty town, uh, but I think I'm going to head out of the rain and get some lunch because I only have about an hour, an hour and a half until my train goes off to Quar on the opposite side of Switzerland. So I better get some food in me because I'm not going to have time for dinner either. Uh, it's a direct connection from Quar and then another train going over to Basel. <laughs> So I'd better get some food in me now or I'm not going to have any all day. And I'm feeling kind of hungry.
was a great, great ride. I enjoyed it. I even uh, slept a little bit and woke up and you feel like you're in this dreamland. You're taking a train through some of the most beautiful, beautiful mountainscapes in the world. Tomorrow's going to be mostly train too. Uh, I guess that's part of it when you're doing a trip like this. There's a lot of riding in trains and stuff like that. But you always see cool spots like this. Here, there, and everywhere. We'll see by the end of all this if I'm absolutely exhausted and tired of trains or if I'm thinking, yay, that was awesome. I think I'll be thinking, yay, that was awesome, but I don't know, you know, at the end of the Trans-Siberian, that's gonna be pretty hardcore. It doesn't get more hardcore as far as train trips go than the Trans-Siberian, and I'm already doing quite a bit of trains before I get there, so we'll see. It's fun.